This program is brought to you by Emory University. I'm Nicole Gerardo. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Biology at Emory University. And my lab focuses on host parasite interactions and in insect systems. And one of those systems is fungus growing ants. Fungus growing ants have been growing fungus for about 50 million years. Um, and in, in terms of that um, agricultural interaction, in terms of growing a crop, um, just like our crops, those crops are attacked by pathogens. So what I focus on is the ants fungus and its interaction with a pathogenic fungus that attacks it um, and how that um, coupling of the host and the pathogen has evolved over time. The fungus grain ant system is um, an amazing system to understand coevolution, which is the evolution of partners um, in response to one another. Mm -hmm. So um, for example, with human disease, we know that those diseases um, are revolving in response to the ability of hosts to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. And the hosts in turn have to um, evolve in response to those diseases. And so the ant system is a system when, where we can really start to tease apart those interactions and understand them at multiple levels. There's about 200 species of fungus growing ants. Um, each of these species sort of has its own particular um, ability to use the environment, different kinds of colonies, different shapes to their their, the structures of their housing and how they maintain the fungus. Um, and they also all feed their fungus different foods. So the ants eat the fungus, um, but the fungus in turn eats leaves that the ants feed to the fungus. Or um, some of the ants will feed sort of organic material that's already being broken down to the fungus, and then in turn they eat the fungus. You get this amazing specialization like you would um, in any human society, where you have different people who specialize at doing different, different tasks. Some might be going into this chamber and getting leaves to feed to the fungus. Others may stay in the garden um, and make sure that their sisters that are growing up are being um, properly fed. And they'll actually transport the larvae around to make sure they're in contact with really good fun fungi. Um, and those larvae actually absorb the material through their skin. The big brown mass is the queen. She's much, much larger than her workers. Um, and that's because she has to store huge amounts of ener energy reserves and eggs. We can actually culture um, the ants fungus, which is growing here on a plate. Um, and this is, allows us to then do many different things. It allows us to do experiments where we interact this fungi with other fungi. Um, it allows us to take this fungus and to give it to other ants to see if they'll accept it. Um, and it also allows us to start to getting into molecular work. So with this in pure culture, um, we can do DNA sequencing to say how closely related is it to the fungus that's grown by other ant species. Um, and right now what we're doing is starting to look at the genome of this fungus and what genes it has, um, and specifically my interest are sort of what genes it has that might allow it to produce antibiotics that inhibit pathogens. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.